a bit I've been on semen retention my aura is glowing and I would go there for female attraction or just attention you know because people would always look at me and talk to me and it would make me feel good and it would validate me you know whether they said something or not it would just validate me so that would just bump my self-esteem so root cause do I really want to go to the grocery store to get the groceries or do I want to go there for attention who knows that's a whole nother story so throughout the day I've been going through the day maybe I got no attention for the day and I'm feeling down and I'm like all right whatever I'll just go to the grocery store get a couple vegetables chop wood carry water keep my head down do what I'm supposed to do not bother anyone I'm not seeking anything surrender go to the grocery store somehow I end up buying the dates and I'm like why the fuck did I buy those dates why did I do that I don't understand like I came in I'm not buying dates I'm not doing this I'm, I'm I'm a new man I called God please help me don't do it somehow I ended up in that aisle blacked out got the dates ate all of them so I'm like what happened during the day to cause me to eat these dates and then I realized anytime this is big anytime that I didn't feel authentic or congruent with who I am what I'm doing my words and my actions I would punish myself to suppress any feeling of guilt and shame for that action. And then when I say this, I mean like, okay, I was at the gym earlier. There's a girl there that I liked. Um, instead of making eye contact and smiling, I would play games and look away. I have to, you know, focus on what I'm doing. I wasn't being authentic to what I was feeling in my body. So in my body, I would feel this wave of energy and this polarity and attraction. And I'm like, okay, but I'm on seed retention. There's no point in me acknowledging this person. Let me ignore them. And that's just not being authentic or congruent to what I'm feeling. Am I going to just outflow on every single person? No, but during this time, you know, I would beat myself up. I'm like practicing, you know, just communicating, be nicer, smile, talk to people and be cool. But I'm not uh, you know, at, at some point I'm just shunning people like this isn't even right. Like, OK, if you're celibate and you're doing this whole thing, you don't have to be a weirdo and walk around and not talk to anyone and just be like this. And, you know, so like in, inside, I knew it, it wasn't correct to just be like this and just ignore these people and ignore your urges like I just had to so I would just ignore the urges all right I would ignore it I wouldn't say hi and then I would go home and be like man that was dumb like I had a real genuine connection there like did I need to date her or marry her whatever with her get her phone number no I could have just acknowledged her said hi and just moved on with the day and just been nice that's it and then just let my energy flow instead of holding it here and just being like no, don't talk to them. You have ill intentions. You're lusting after women, da, 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 da. You're seeking attention. You're trying to manipulate them. You're, you're lusting after them. No, it had nothing to do with that. So then I would go home, beat myself up about it, replay the scenario a few times, and then I'd feel guilty, guilty, guilty. And then the spiral would happen. I'd start to kind of go unconscious for a second, back in, back out, back in, back out. And then I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm going to do a good deed. You know, I need some groceries. Let me go out to the store, grab some groceries, you know, vegetables, all this healthy stuff. And then I end up in the date aisle, blacked out, eating all this stuff. So then I'm like, hmm, every time I make a poor food choice, usually within an hour prior, I've been incongruent with myself, not authentic, and didn't speak my truth or I was, wasn't just being genuinely honest. So that's why I would make these poor food choices. So if I'm at dinner with somebody or just at dinner and I'm doing stuff and then I end up, you know, having, you know, dinner's over. I'm like, okay, you know, no dessert, no dessert. And then I'm walking down the street to the car and I'm like, all right, I'll just have one, you know, and then the whole spiral happens again. And then the same situation, I did something throughout the day that wasn't congruent with who I am. And what I was doing and to black out or to cover that up instead of going home in the past and using drugs or going out to party to to having sex with women you know whatever it was to masturbation something that would give me a massive dopamine hit 
to avoid the feeling that I was feeling. So then now I would use the food. And every time I would go out and be like, oh man, I'm lonely. Why am I lonely? Because I didn't speak to the girl all day or one of my friends and just been honest. You know, I'm just being weird now and like suppressing stuff and not owning it. You know, so then all this spiral would happen and then the food addiction. So instead of drugs, thank God, you know, I would go to the food. I would turn to the food. I would turn to the food. I'm like, man, just stop, you know? And then it was because I wasn't being congruent, authentic, and honest like just straight up honest like just speak the truth like in the moment like what are you feeling i'm feeling really nervous while i'm on this camera right now i'm feeling very vulnerable right now because i'm expressing all this i don't know how people are going to take it i just feel vulnerable you know and i would never ever in my life attempt to feel vulnerable like i would mask it with anything and everything it would be money cars women sex drugs alcohol gambling food you name it and then once all those things start to dissipate right okay i'm free from all these addictions and all this stuff it transferred to something else i never drank caffeine i wasn't into like i've never had coffee in my life you know believe it or not you know i do have tea once in a while but what was i oh uh, yeah you know so then when that happens you transfer the addiction you know I went from drugs to sex to this to that so now we're getting into a different category where most people completely just miss so now I'm like oh I'm so clean I'm free la, la, la. look at me everyone look at me everyone look at me that's where the problem started you know that's the next step you know on top of the food addiction it carried over to a seeking validation seeking approval like um, you know, they call this edging and lusting and, you know, it's called edging because you're getting such a mini dopamine hits throughout the day from the attention that you're getting from your newfound, you know, uh, uh, change, right? So I, I made a prolific change in my life. And then all of a sudden during that change, I was staying humble. And then, you know, they, they, you get a lot of attention, right? So then I started receiving like good intention, uh, good attention and other attention. I'm like, oh, this person's good. They're not trying to take my money. They're not trying to steal from me. They're not trying to kill me, <laughs> whatever. You know, they're, they're genuine, you know. Oh, this girl doesn't want me for just sex. Oh, maybe she's a nice girl. Maybe da 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 da. So I'm eating up all this attention left and right. But what it's doing is, you know, it's, it's still taking the energy from you. So, so here's an example. Um, walking down the street, there's a girl a hundred feet away. She knows I'm coming, right? She saw me way before I saw her. She's felt the energy. She knows I'm coming. Women are just so intuitive. They totally get it. They're in tune. My vibration in it is at 100 right now. So I'm bopping. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm pure. I drink the best water. I don't eat sugar, blah, blah, blah. I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to do. I'm going through through my day, you know, I'm being honest and I walk up and then I kind of out of the corner of my eye, I see her, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, like I could probably get a dopamine hit from this one. So let me act like I don't see her, like she's not there and just keep walking. And then just out of the corner of my eye, kind of pee, can I feel her looking? And then I look up, she kind of looks at me, looks away, I look down, she looks back, I look down, she looks away. And then I just keep going past the interaction and I manipulated that the entire time and just for that look, just for that validating look. And then I would just keep seeking that throughout the day. I would go around and do things just for that look. I had no intention of talking to her. I don't want to get to know her. I don't want to sleep with her. I don't want to marry her or nothing. I just wanted to pull that dopamine hit out of her and validate me. Right? So where I lose in this is I end up seeking approval. And then I went from vibration 100, she's on 100, we can kind of connect, right? Because we're vibing at the same speed. And then as I'm coming, my vibration starts to drop. And then she senses that because I'm looking, not looking, looking, not looking, playing games, bullshit around, not being authentic. So now I'm not on the same vibe, you know? So if I do go and talk to her, she's probably not gonna respond the way I think she is because 
she felt me seeking the attention and the approval and eye contact to validate me for the wrong reason and then I'm gonna to talk to her. And she might even look away, ignore me, something different, not even be authentic. So that's where walking down the street seeking that approval would lower your vibration. You're like, hey, I thought, you know, you know, I thought something good was gonna come of this or we'd actually talk or something. That's a reason to kind of brush you off right there out of the blue and you're like, oh, I thought I had something there. You know, but that's not really the point. Um, you know, I was really just seeking the validation, honestly, like just going, trying to get the dopamine hit. Maybe I'm feeling low because I'm not good within. I'm not being authentic. I'm not being honest with myself throughout the day in the things I do. I've done something that wasn't congruent internally. So externally, I'm going to go seek that validation. I know I'm going to get it. I know, you know, because of the semen retention, my aura is shining. I'm going to get that look. So... You know, I set it up, I go get that look, boom, I get the dopamine and then I lose the dopamine. I get the dopamine and I lose the dopamine. So now I'm addicted to this hit of dopamine from the female attraction, which is the same thing as lusting, but I'm lusting after her attention, not lusting after her sexually, right? So I'm still using her or using a drug, using somebody or something to fulfill me inside where I'm lacking, right? So that's where I'm gaining the validation, whether it came from an Instagram post that I posted. Did I really need to post this? Probably not, but I knew I was gonna get some likes, right? Did I really need to go to the gym at 5 p.m. when I had all day to go? Probably not, you know, because I was seeking something else. Did I really need to walk down the street, look at this girl, play games with her, and not say hi, or not just walk straight? Probably not. You know, so that's where the self-inquiry started happening. I had to go deep and ask myself, why am I really doing this? Do I really need this? What is the root cause of this? Why is this happening? You know, I've defeated all this stuff and now this is happening. So now I'm on to this next chapter and now I'm getting a ton of attention from the weight loss, the pictures and the change. How did you do it? And I'm eating it up. You know, am I really genuinely trying to help these people or am I doing it for self uh, validation, you know, honesty, you know, and if I can't do something, you know, I'm still slowly giving away my power by doing stuff that I really don't want to do because I had this fear of letting other people down. All right. So that's another thing that I had to deal with is like the fear of disappointing another person. They call it like codependency, whatever you want to call it, like my fear of disappointing the other person. And then when that happens, it just took its toll on me completely. I would have resentment, all these drama triangle, all this weird stuff would happen. It's brutal and it sucks.